Um, I'm just going to start on my favorite piece, which is actually my entire studio, which is an installation I made. And it's supposed to have a walking experience where uh, it simulates the experience of walking into a secondhand antique shop. Okay. The owner is long gone. Wow. And uh, my theme was time, so I focused a lot on capturing the things that pass away quickly and how nothing is really permanent in the face of time. I focused a lot on capturing the things that pass away quickly and how nothing is really permanent in the face of time. And so um, I played around with the idea of mold and decomposition. Um, and actually, mold is not only a representation of passage of time, of like old age, but also um, in the mold's point of view, like for us, mold is... Uh, decomposition is death and it's time decaying away but for the mold themselves is growth and it's life and so that is one concept okay. that I, I grasp a lot well because I'm a kind of person who always have too much things to do at, in the beginning like I feel like I don't have enough time and I feel like time is one of the things that I need the most in my life yeah. and I just thought that would be a very personal topic if I to, if I were to look into it and so I did, and then as I gradually um, find my way through the course, I find out that time is more than what I originally thought it was, and I found out ways to explore and represent time in ways more than just, say, like clocks or hourglasses or signs of aging. This piece of work is one of my first works when I started exploring with the concept of time. Yeah. And it's a series where I have rice paper and, and uh, that are stained by tea bags with different values of the stains. And this is like one of the very direct and obvious representations of the transaction of time. You can either look at it from um, left to right or right to left. Either way, there's a progression, mm. a slow progression of um, of these stains and so that's the representation uh, representation of time and yeah. I used tea bags here because tea for me gives me a sense of history and a sense of uh, cultural importance and the process process of tea making like starting with picking the leaves into like when you can actually drink it is a very long process that requires a lot of patience mm. but I used instant tea bags here instead of tea leaves because the tea bags actually cut off all those um, intricate pieces of time and just shorten it into a few seconds where you just dip it in your cup. And so for me it's like a, um, it's a merge and a parallel of history and of a long period of time in juxtaposition with a very short period of time. I made the molds with oil paint and cotton fiber that people use to, when they put on makeup. And um, I started making the series of mold I was inspired by an artist group called the Ball Families, where they uh, okay. try to recreate pieces that look actually look like pieces from, like, say, a road or a wall. And so, at first, I tried to create a realistic mold, and then I moved into making molds that are more dynamic, that has a sense of movement in them. So, like, for example, for these pieces of work, when you look in, when you look at the way that the mold are growing, you can feel that. Um, if you leave it for a long time, the mold are still going to continue growing, even though okay. the composition itself is still. When you this one says glory, and this one says eternity. Oh, and wow. these are two of the things that um, people usually, especially eternity, that people consider to um, be unable to be touched by time. And yet, so there is a little bit irony in here is that glory eventually gets tainted while eternity gets eaten away and everything will decompose uh, gradually. Um, this piece of work uh, is, is created to look like a flat piece of cloth mm. and it has very bright colors and so like if without the mold and without the rip it would look very new and good. Okay. And I actually spent six hours uh, doing the patterns on the canvas and it took me about 30 minutes just to like 
add all the mold and a few seconds to do the rip. Mm. So there's a contrast in the time I spent preparing this canvas and the time where I actually destroyed it. And like for me as an artist who spent a long time on this, it's it's very, it's a very painful process, but it's necessary. And I think the contrast in time and the experience of actually making this piece of work is a part of what I'm trying to express as well. Is that it's inevitable, and that time just basically destroys everything. But that's what has to happen. And this rose has the meaning of life, and what I was trying to express originally was that. Um, flowers are fragile and beautiful and people expect that they could capture their moment, uh, momentary beauty on canvas forever but on the contrary um, even a flower with such bright colors and with such a meaning as life it will eventually decompose and the, including like the canvas gets ripped and it just fades into the background of everything that's around it. The message I was sent was that everything will eventually fall into place so like everything is stirred up here but with time and just like life no matter how much chaos or drama you cause it'll all eventually fall into place. The co uh, contrast in the colors well it, um, when I was deciding on the colors helps me to emphasize on the difference um, between the two bottles and yet the similar um, the similar nature of the liquid in them is that they both um, eventually fall into place mm. and um, for for the bottles, I especially paid attention to make them have reflections of light and of shadows, especially right here. You can see the bottles as well as their shadows casted, and so that it's it's like a um, it's like a reflection of it's a reflection of what's going on. And in a way, I feel like this makes my piece more more powerful visually because you can not you can not only see the actual object but also a um, a reflection of it. I actually made a piece of work that is meant to be a, a space and the whole atmosphere and feeling that it gives the audience are a part of what the work expresses. So it's like it's not like a tangible piece of work but it is nevertheless one of the most important in my entire two years of IB. First of all, I've grown to know how to simplify things, and second of all is that I've grown to appreciate the fact that not everything has to look pretty. Art for me is no longer a concept that is purely limited to what is tangible and what you can actually see and hold in your hands.